So I get asked a lot, what's the difference between upper cervical chiropractic and general or regular chiropractic? Well, so I know this pretty well because uh, both my parents used to be uh, regular chiropractors until my dad actually got his very first upper cervical adjustment uh, some years after I was in practice and uh, 40 years of chronic lower back pain and sciatic pain uh, just went away and never came back after for years and years he had been having that low back adjusted and it would feel better but it kept coming back that's actually what led him to become a chiropractor um, was the fact that he had chronic lower back pain and prostate problems that never went away when he went to a chiropractor it went away but it come back and it went away and it come back because every time he had to keep being adjusted and adjusted and adjusted and the reason was was that wasn't the actual cause that's where the pain was but the actual cause of his back pain came from his neck. So several years later, fast forward, me coming, going to school, graduating, open uh, a strictly upper cervical chiropractic office, and uh, him coming and visiting and me adjusting his atlas, the uh, first bone in his neck, and while he was laying down in our rest area where we have you lay after you get adjusted, his back pain disappeared. The pain down his leg went away within minutes never to reappear because then we real, he realized that what was happening was one of the top bones in his neck, the atlas in his case, was out of a line. And that's what had caused the compensation to lead down to the lower back and cause his chronic back pain and sciatica. So if this wasn't the cause but was actually a symptom, then covering up the symptom made it feel better, made it feel better, but it never fix the problem until we went up here and corrected the actual cause, which was the atlas bone. Once we corrected the cause, his whole body realigned itself and the back pain went away and the sciatica went away on its own. So I would say one of the biggest differences between upper cervical chiropractic and regular chiropractic is we focus all of our energy on the upper part of the neck. Uh, the reason is, is, the other reason is, is because, well, what we just talked about is because if one of the bones up here is out of a line, what it's going to do is it's going to force the body to compensate, pull one leg up short, make one hip higher, can drop one shoulder, and those compensations will result in musculoskeletal pain, neck pain, upper back pain, lower back pain, sciatic pain, pain down the arm, down the shoulder, the hands. And you can manipulate all of those different areas and you might get some temporary relief, but if the cause is coming up here, and if we don't fix that perfectly, perfectly, it'll keep coming back and it'll keep coming back. So we focus all of our energy on the 274 possible ways these top two bones can misalign. And if we get that bone perfectly positioned, the body is smarter than we are. It knows how to reposition the rest of the spine. And then what we find many, many times is we touch up here and we never even touch the lower back and the back pain goes away. The pain down the leg goes away. The shoulder pain goes away. That's just from a musculoskeletal standpoint. Now, to me, the greater uh, purpose behind upper cervical chiropractic is what happens at the top of the neck, and that's the brainstem. See, the brainstem area is like uh, the switchboard operator. It sends the messages from the brain to your heart, your liver, your lungs, your kidneys, your arms, your legs. It controls the brain. It controls your immune function, how you sleep, your digestion, your respiration, your heartbeat, your blood pressure. It controls every function in your body. So if one of the bones at the top of the neck is even a little bit out of a line, it can interfere with the messages from your brain to any multiple parts of your body. So if they don't get the full message telling it what to do and exactly how to do it, then it doesn't work the way it's intended. That's when long-term chronic ailments can come about. Fibromyalgia, migraine headaches, digestive disorders, sleeping disorders, blood pressure problems, all, immune function, autoimmune diseases, all of these things can all come from the effects of a misalignment at the top of the neck. So it's kind of a, a two-fold problem. One, there are structural compensations that happen, which results in musculoskeletal pain, neck pain, back pain, arm pain, leg pain, foot pain, knee pain, hip pain, headaches, right? And then there's the deeper neurological problem, which can happen as a result of an upper cervical 
subluxation, which is that basically a bone out of place, putting pressure at the brain stem, it can affect the nerve supply to any multiple parts of the body, causing a wide range of conditions. So at the upper cervical spine center, what we do is we focus all of our attention on this so incredibly important area because we know if we can get that right, the rest of your body will just change. It'll heal on its own because you have everything you need in you to be well and to stay well. But if there's a little kink in that program, then your body starts to get sick and sicker and sicker. So we focus all of our energy on correcting the top of the neck. Now, at the upper cervical spine center, we never charge for the initial consultation to see what your needs are and if it's something we think we can help you with. And if it is, then we'll explain to you what we need to do. If it's not something that we think we can help, then we'll at least try to find someone else that we think that can help you. And we'll refer you to that specialist as well. Now, if you live in the Charlotte area, Valentine, um, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, Huntersville, Cornelius, Gastonia, uh, Belmont, give our office a call, 704-588-5560. We're the upper cervical chiropractor for you. Uh, we've been in business for 25 years, serving actually from China to Europe, uh, but and definitely the surrounding Charlotte area. Uh, if you don't live in this area, if you'd like to try to find an upper cervical doctor near you, the best thing is probably to try to Google upper cervical chiropractor. If you can't find it there, give our office a call. We'll be happy to try to find a doctor near you. So I hope this makes some sense about why we focus on the upper part of the neck what is different about upper cervical chiropractic versus regular full spine general chiropractic? Uh, if you have any questions, give our office a call. Uh, but I look forward to seeing you someday, and hopefully we can uh, help you turn your health around and get your life back. I hope you have a great day, and we look forward to meeting you.